as part of my unit project last year. That's the reason why I came to the University of Nottingham was to do Project Shader. It just appealed to me straight away and we go out to South Africa and we designed a school and then we built it when we were out there with our own bare hands. Most of the stuff that we do is a lot of like making, we do a lot of workshops and we learn a lot of the stuff more by doing it by hand. It's nice to know that out there is a building that I've been part of designing before I've even qualified. It's just really rewarding to actually see a physical representation of all the hard work, both in studio and on site. And it means that you can see what works and what doesn't work on a one-to-one -one scale. And it is like, it's a lot easier to kind of think of how stuff goes together and also like why it's needed. Whereas before you just you kind of you learn in lectures and then you just applied it. Now we've gone out there and actually done it, so it's quite yeah, it's very helpful. I really now understand the process of putting things up and the critical path and waiting for different things until you can carry on and do other things. Um, and even just doing our next tectonics project, I can really visualise what something looks like on a on a technical drawing in reality, which is really handy because I didn't understand it at all before. The village was quite rural, so it was actually quite a safe community where everyone sort of knew each other. It was a comfortable place to work and it made you feel really welcome. We've expanded so much for their own business and for the head teacher, Selena. Not only more children are allowed to come to school and have an education, but seeing their old school and what we've been able to make for them, it's just a great opportunity for them and for us to be giving it to them. The school at the moment is just one room basically, not a lot of space for them to sleep, play, learn or anything. We've created a kind of space where there can be lots of different possibilities for things for them to do rather than just one enclosed tiny Working with the children was great because while actually building the school and then going to see the children at the same time, it kind of reinforced this um, meaning behind why we're doing this and what we're doing it for and it's just great to see their smiles every day. It's, it's one, of the, one of the experiences I've had which makes me think that if working, working as an architect will be like this, it would be great fun. It was the final evening, I'd say that was the best bit, because we managed to finish the building of like an hour to spare or of daylight. And then, so all the kids came into the building and it was just, it was absolutely amazing to see this thing that we've built for them and to see them actually like enjoy it and like have a little, have a little party inside, it was, it was amazing. But when you apply to, be, to study architecture, that's what you're trying to do. You're, you're wanting to create experiences for people and create spaces that people are going to enjoy. And with this unit, um, you get to see this actually happen firsthand, and you just feel like you're part of something really interesting and exciting, and you'll never forget.
final project is a classroom with two additional areas attached to it. There is an office of medical bay and a reading area. The main room is supported by eight columns and a number of beams and the front doors open out completely to fill out into the area in front. The reading corner is filled with lots of different tactile materials like cordwood and glass walls to give the children the chance to kind of interact with the materials in the world and kind of creates quite a fun and interesting area. And the office area is quite private and gives the workers chance to take a few minutes to work on what they need to. So the building is based on different levels which enable different things to happen in space. In the main room, that's where the main teaching happens and there's a view through the pallet walls to the mountains. So we want it to be really interesting for the children and just a fun place for them to spend their day. So the building we have designed has a much larger area and it opens out which would mean that it can be a new hub for the communities where they can hold meetings and other events in the evenings rather than just as a school. It also means that their children have the best start they can in their education from the get-go.